He's hiding the porn. Shut up. Shut up. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Winston's Master Duel Roundtable. This is our 25th episode. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Um, welcome back. Um, uh, Chara Mar is here. Mari is here. I'm joined by uh, Digi as well. Um, well. Yeah, we're welcome. here. Welcome. 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 Welcome to the suck. Um... <laughs> We're starting. I get. We're starting. I, I guess with today with the. Uh, you know, oddly enough, uh, you know, get, uh, news. Uh, Chara, you uh, are the only person in this group of 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 uh, ragamuffins, as I what I as I'll say, who, you know, certain is certainly gives a level of effort into keeping up with the news that us laymen do not. So, in your infinite knowledge and wisdom, please, good sir, can you please tell us what has gone on in the last week and a half of Master Duel? Oh, and Yu-Gi-Oh! in general. And Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, as you, as you're, that you're aware of. Well, the Ragnarokas came out. They did, and you have been committing war crimes with them. Yes, <laughs> Trap Trick, great. Uh, let's yeah. see what else is there. Um. Uh, oh, sorry. Good there, Chief. <laughs> no, I feel like shit. That's fair. You know what I've been going through for a lot. I you saw my distress. I did indeed mm. see your distress, and I wept for you. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't get that. <laughs> And all funny. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. But uh yeah. Uh Ragnar Rikers came out finally. I know you will. I anticipate it, unfortunately. Ragnar Rikers came out, you can use them with all sorts of fun things, such as the Oh my eyes itching as with trap tricks of with... Lodegex, Rika, those are the three main ones. Yeah, uh, I saw a couple. Uh, I saw a couple NRs. Someone did a insect uh, Ragnarikas with Giant Ball Park. I think I sent you that deck list. I saw for an NR format. Um, I, I and other news like in high media TV specific news. I've actually been thinking about changing uh, the standard format of the Winston Cup a little bit from you know restricting the card pool like in in the nr plus format um to um instead doing uh instead uh and in, in, and this is mainly so i can also get some more things off the ban list and maybe even do away with the ban list entirely and that is mechanics restrictions the what restrictions? Mechanics restrictions. Meaning, uh, you know, the ban list obviously is going to exist to, like, get rid of, like, problem cards that make this a really big pain. Yeah, it's just so it doesn't turn into a giant stall format. But I was thinking about possibly um, uh, re uh, taking some things off the list, specific archetypes, and instituting just a, a flat uh limitation on the number of special summons you can do per turn to six run the beer hmm. you will i in fact i in fact was keeping nibiru in mind for for that just let people run the beer people can run the beer the beer is not banned I could have sworn it was. No, the beer is not banned. I'm like eight ninety percent sure, ninety nine percent sure. I didn't ban fucking nib. Hold on, let's look at the Winston Cup page. Let's look at the ban list. Let's look at the text view. Banned. Nope. No nib. He is unhit. Now, like, 
I would want to try a like like the only card that would get banned with this would possibly be Nibiru, but even then, like I don't know, depends really. If I'm being honest, um, I wouldn't really change too much about the ban list. I think I would focus more on you know unfun cards, like unfun in the sense of like grinds the game to a halt, kind of floodgates and stuff. As well as, like, tier zero, you know, nonsense, like, Snake Eye, fucking Snake Eye, Voices Voice. Like, I do have to update the ban list. Because, uh, don't get me wrong, I love my Voiceless Voice, but I know that it's not appropriate for this format. So, I'm curious, gentlemen, um... What do you think of that as a possible uh, replacement of the NR Plus format as the standard format for the Winston Cup? Because the main reason why is, is that I've noticed that, like, people aren't, like, when I have tried to run it, people just aren't particularly interested. And so I kind of wanted to give people, like, a way to, like, I don't know. I think I, I've given a lot of thought to this format, and I've kind of come to the, you know, uh, decision that it I th personally I feel as if the power level of uh, sword souls is should kind of be around the ceiling of what cards you know what decks of what they should be you know what I mean hmm. like those 2018 2019 era decks like that are that can combo off but not but don't but not so much that like you're sitting there for 10 minutes um i don't know i'm 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 i want i'm i want to run a winston cup next week on thursday 7 p.m. eastern standard time and i don't think that the nr format nr plus format is you know, I don't think that is something that people generally like, and I want people to be able to play what they like. I can't, we can't do classic, which is just with a standard masterful ban list plus, you know, the Winston Cup ban list, because, you know, a lot of people stopped wanting to play it, even if they liked it, because, you know, it was expensive. It's expensive to make a deck in Master Tool. I could do the Meta Sheep one, but like, you know, then I'm just running Voice My favorite. Voice. Yep, I'm running Voices Voice, Char's running his bullshit, and basically every single meta sheep one like that we've done, it was either me or Chara coming out on top. Every single time. Hmm. And so I am trying to find a balance. I want there to be like I feel like like the soul of like the NR plus format is like good. It's just Fuck, man, making a, an NR deck from scratch is a pain in the fucking ass, dude. Like, genuine. Well, I hate it. You know, like, I, if I fucking unbanned, like, half the archetypes, like, that I banned, it, it would be, like, maybe more tenable. Because you could, like, do a fucking, what's it called, um... A Visa Starfrost pile and, like, to be pretty okay, but... Yeah, I, I, Chara, I, like, you're the, you're, you're the other, you know, chronically Yu-Gi-Oh! brain other person here. I'm curious what you think. Stabbing you. Huh? You're stabbing me? Yes. In regards <laughs> to... Yes. So, no opinion on the special summon limiting? Uh, could care less. I'm more interested in the fact that uh, Snake Eye isn't the top of OCG anymore. Really? It's probably Fiend Smith and some other bullshit. Nope. Really? What is it? Ryzel. Ryzel. Brand new archetype. Oh! It's, it's number one in OCG right now, and it's dropped Snake Eye Fiend Smith to uh, number three. Hmm. Oh boy. How the fuck are they pow- Oh boy. 
It's a rank. It's a rank four engine. Oh no. Well, at least, uh, at least, at least, S zero is still banned. That's good at the very least, isn't it? Looks like Draco Utopic Future. <laughs> you know, I yeah, Future is still is is a better is a, like a more fun card to play against compared to fucking S zero though. I'll tell you what, man. Huh. Eh, fuck it. Fuck it, we're doing a Meta Sheep event. I just want people to come play and hang out and play Yu-Gi-Oh with me. Hey. Woo! I need a Bullying fiddle. works once again. Uh, I'm kidding. I know. What's up, standard format? That's uh... And uh, for everybody listening, there the, here are the rewards this time for uh, the this new Winston Cup. Uh, just entering gets you a uh, five crowns and a title. Hmm. It, Winston Cup at like uh, of not nine twenty six. First place gets a, the title. Winston Cup gold, and then like the date of the of it, and fifteen crowns. Second place gets Winston Cup silver title, ten crowns. Bro third is bronze, and excuse me, five crowns. Wait, what are these crowns that we're talking about here? So these crowns are part oh, of their part, their community points, and uh. The winner, uh, the person who has the most amount of points, um, the mo the winner who get the person who has the most amount of points at the end of each month, gets a basically gets the supporter role for free, uh, which which make, gives you like elevated permissions in the Discord, as well as a um you know access to like it basically makes you be treated like you're somebody who has given me a monthly subscription. And you get it for free. And, um, uh, you also, in, in, like, I mean, the top three people get that. And then, uh, the top person gets a free, a random free game. Steam key. And that's Ooh. something I'm instituting to try and get people to, like, give more of a shit. I've also instituted a lot more community challenges. Uh, where you can get, where if, if you, like, for example, and I know this is not the podcast for it, but I don't get, I don't give a fuck, it's, this is my show, God be damned, I be damned. Um, you want to spoil the world? Hmm? Well, what did you say? You must follow the rules. I must follow the rules. Are you sure you don't want to hear about the community chat, Bellatro community challenge that you can get Chara, 10 crowns for free just by submitting it now. What? Beat 8 anti 8 in Bellatro. You get 10 crowns for posting the achievement. I mean, I guess you hit anti 12. There you go. There's a reason it's a community challenge and not a champion's thing, so. Feel free to go to like knock them out, like and stuff. I it's it's it. it, it, it I'm it, sorry, it, but touch grass is impossible, man. I'm sorry. What's impossible? Touching grass. Touching grass. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, yeah. Uh, this this tournament is gonna be September 26th. Uh, the day this. So in fact, uh, not uh to not the day this comes out, but a, a week. Exactly seven days from the, the, the this episode's release date uh, will be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time will be that. And I hope to have all of you there. In fact, because you, you motherfuckers. Be there. Thursday at 7 p.m. Well, looks like I know what I'm doing for a stream on Thursday. 
Next and Thursday or this Thursday? Next Thursday. Tomorrow, I ha I'm hosting a DD and d campaign uh, in the stage here for uh, monthly subs. Oh. Yeah, I do that. I, I'm having a, I'm doing a, I do a one shot campaign every two weeks, mostly combat focused. So we don't do too much theater of the mind, so I don't get a headache. And uh, I'm having a couple friends over who, you know, because they can show up in person, they don't got to pay. Uh, and and my and Meadow's also going to play, and she obviously doesn't have to pay, even though she is a monthly sub anyways, because she loves me. Um, because she doesn't have to pay because she's my girlfriend. Everybody, no. people who people who are coming in digitally do. Um, you know, so bear. So if anybody wants to like, it's first come first serve. We have six slots open. I'm happy to boot boot my IRL friends on a moment's notice. You know, for that. Um, so if y'all, so for the low, low cost of three dollars a month on Ko-Fi, or on Discord, or on Patreon, or your or your Twitch Prime sub, y'all can have that. Y'all, y'all can join in that. Kind of shitty. Say what? Kind of shitty. What is? I gotta pay three dollars to enlist in the tournament. No, no, the the um dungeon. Because here's the thing, right? Like the fucking. Me DMing it is like labor on my part, and also like I wanted to have like more perks for like my subscribers and shit, like my my oh. my money subscribers, like more than just like exclusive and early access videos. Like I need, I wanted to have something, and on the off weeks when I'm when we're not doing that, I wanted to I wanted to bring back the Winston Cup, which might end up just being meta sheep for like the time being, if I'm being so fucking honest. Yeah. Okay. So, regardless, uh, I it, I have announced the uh, if you guys if, if if you want for anybody who wants more information on the upcoming tournament, uh, it can be it can be found uh in the Yu Gi Oh channel on our Discord. Go check that out when you get a chance. So, uh, mm -hmm. as we were back to actual Yu Gi Oh conversations i guess mm. uh is that is that essentially it for news i take it for uh yeah that's pretty much it okay. rank for uh mm. speed oh hey people like to run trap tricks aphlasia in this uh rank for engine just because you can just use it for disruptions thanks Ooh. i hate it <laughs> I actually hate it here. God damn it. Uh, well, 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 we'll probably get Fiendsmith and Master Duel before we get that shit, so we have time to... Or at the same time. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm in hell. Oh, Lord. All right. Fair enough. Moving on to the Duelist Cup. How y'all? How y'all doing with that? Terribly. I'm not doing it all, unfortunately. Are you getting your Let's ass see. beat? Nah, I just haven't had the time to get into it. Also, I'm going to remind everybody that is physically here right now, please go sign up for the tournament next week now, before you forget. What tournament? And this is for Master Duel? Yep, it's on Master Duel. Ooh. Okay. Looks like my stream schedule for next week is going to be filled with Yu-Gi-Oh. It ain't a bad thing. Yeah, true. Plus, I can already tell my buddy Trace is going to be excited for that. He is allowed is to uh, partake yeah. in this. Yeah. He, uh, he, uh, Trace j is... Uh, the only thing I'll probably ask about that is just if Trace can maybe stay muted in BC or be just a spectator. He has mm. a penchant for talking over me when I'm announcing stuff. I'll have to talk with him about that. Real quick, there's a knock on my door. I'll be back. Alright, we'll pause this. Real quick, I'll show him while he's gone. Eh. Char keeps fucking kicking me from... Char keeps kicking me from my own tournament and pisses me off. What? <laughs> there's no... Hey, there. it's so... It's so easy that you, it's two simple button clicks. 
gave him too much power. Fortunately. Oh, boy. Yeah, the Duel's Cup's been good. I have been... I think I, I was on a bit of a winning streak into Duelist level 12 until I hit a catch Tierra deck that was just like... It just... D-Shifter, Max C. I'm like, fuck, here we go. And... Ah. I will say I probably would have been good if I had special summoned like one ritual monster I needed to, but my dumbass did not because, you know, I play Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm... I'm not smart. So... Why is anyone ever smart? <laughs> I am. Hmm. Oh, we have the uh, Goblin hmm. Bikers coming oh, to Master Duel. When the goblin fuck? Hey, bikers? that's my fucking bet. Oh, you weren't talking, motherfucker, so I figured you was done. I was waiting to know when I could go next. You can go. Uh, the 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 state the news section is your oyster. You can take control anytime you damn well wish. Mm-hmm. In this section. So next, we got Goblin Bikers. Gabonga. Bonga bonga. And they're in Lilo. Uh, excuse me, type. They're pretty nice. Uh, oh, geez, eccentric. Um, I need alcohol. What, you need alcohol. I need alcohol at some point. I I want to be drunk at, tonight, but I can't. I understand. Yeah. It it'd be like that. Uh, if this card is exceeds summon, you can add one goblin monster from your deck to your hand. If Retiro is detached from a monster on the field, you can target one monster in the field except this card and attach to this card's been healed. <laughs> Suck. During the end phase, you can attach one goblin monster from your deck to this card as material. Huh. So, do they all do the suck, like something suck, or they do, like... Besides Crazy Beast, yes, they all suck. Huh. And, uh, what's the over-under on these, like, it'd be, so, I know they're not, I know they're not gonna work. Mm. I know they're not gonna work. They're not, with it. They're not good. But it'd be what? so funny to see if someone tried to make Pearly and this work together. Uh, they might try. Anyway, so, like, Exorcist Paratop has probably another, another home. Really? In what? This. It's Terratop. Oh my god, they're all level 3s. Oh boy. Hmm. I guess, t I, guess I mean, t but Terra Tops, you know. I mean, it's not fantastic compared to, like, how, like, today, but, like, I guess that's an okay home. I will say it's interesting, like, I wonder how many goblins, quote-unquote, that Goblin Biker Big Gabunga can search. And then they will not let you set search goblin on dark. Strange. Wouldn't it be it'd be so is it monster? Yeah, it's monster. If they let you search one goblin card, like oh no! You can search upstart goblin. Oh, uh, boy. That'd be funny though. Any more news, Chara, we wait, should be aware wait, of. I search pot of green. Do they? They do. No. Goblin of the pot. Oh my god, stop. Anyways. But Continue. first. Ooh, there's an MBT. -ism. So yeah. Evan? Yes? They will not, they will never stop finding your body. Continue. Hmm. So something this is actually so this pivot to why it's the next segment is of what I want. Uh, what I want to come to Master Duel is ritual beasts. I want the cool shit. Are wait, the, the ritual beast support isn't on Master Duel yet? No. Alta Canahawk isn't on fucking Master Duel? 
I think. I don't think so. I mean, you have it open right now. You can check it. I don't have it open. I closed that after I, I got into a cash tier wall and got frustrated. Here, I'll pull Wait. it up. I'll pull it up and see. Let, because... Actually, we have Master Duel Meta here, so... All... Hi. Oh, wait, Ulti Kiana Hawks and Master Duel. But no, there's more new shit, dude. Yeah. What is the uh, ritual beast you're talking about, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, we got- we don't have Lara yet. We don't have- uh, we have Elder, but we don't have Lara yet, who is the biggest one that is- uh, that just makes the deck good. Yeah. Yeah. I thought the just Lara. But Ritual Beast has always kind of been, like, a more mid-archetype. We're also missing- we're also missing ulti- no, dude, no, number four right now in TCG. Oh, no shit. Dual yeah, because they can also abuse fucking, uh, they can also abuse, uh, Protoss. Ah. Du dual terminal coming back from the fucking abyss, man. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm kind of, like, waiting, well, I'm, what I'm kind of just waiting on is, like, I'm just waiting on the new Drydron support. For me, like the new Bingus, that the new Bingus and the new level two that they're adding is, I just want those. Like those, I need, I need, like, cause I am, a, I am ready for Herald of Ultimate Stun to Electric Boogaloo. Ooh. And I. Alright, what would you stopped. want? Mari want Mari wants uh, an easy to, an easy to summon extra deck monster for Cyber Dragons that reads you win the fucking game. Lot. You damn right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you, Digi? What is there anything you want? Anything I want? Yeah. Uh, nothing I can think of off the top of my head. I just need a deck that's machine-based, because y'all know the kind of vibes I portray. I'm pretty sure Mari can help you with that. Yeah, I could definitely help you with that. I got, like, three machine decks. Ooh! In fact, All he's right. he, he uses, like, the fucking continuous spell to eat my goddamn board. He's done it three times, and I want to fight him in a, in a white- and I want to fist fight him in a White Castle parking lot. Shout out to my homeboy, Clockwork Knight. <laughs> Why specifically a White Castle parking lot? Why not Cause Costco? Because he's, he's, he's from New York, and I'm trying to be culturally sensitive. Oh. I mean, we, we do not eat... Nah, you say Waffle House. <laughs> That's... <laughs> yeah. Of course you say Waffle House, dude. I say, I say, okay? I say Wendy's. I can't even begin to count the number of times I've seen fights break out in Waffle House. I mean, yeah, it's Waffle House. Like, they're trying to get it, get that as a stage in Street Fighter VI. Are they really? Trying to. God damn. <laughs> I pulled the right. I pulled the faint with the rank five uh, Ragnarika. Oh, nice. You mean link five? Link five, yeah. Link, link five. I also got Charge of Light Brigade. That's some quality UR dust right there. Hmm. You really hurt Nerlis with that. I don't give a fuck. Nerlis ain't here, so you don't, well, you don't know what I'm heard of. And I know for a fact you don't listen to these damn podcasts. Actually, he does. Hi, Nerlis. Fuck your light swords. Hello. Anywho, um, is there anything else? We are. We have been going for about a half hour now, and it is almost you know 10 p.m. So I'm just wondering, is there anything else uh, folks want to mention outside of Digi's segment? Uh, 
Anything in particular you want to ma mention, Mari? Um, so I don't know how you're going to feel about this, but I built an ancient gear deck. Really? That's cool. Mm. Yes. I mean, how, what does it do? Are we, we, All right, Prowler. Oh so, God, you're. You should bring it to. You should bring it to the Winston Cup next week. I, I just might. So its whole purpose is to go second and kill the opponent in one strike. The yeah. fuck. Well, that yes. I mean that that's classic fucking ancient gear. It's just unga bunga okay. with extra steps. Yeah, unga bunga. I am the therefore I'm a bitch. <laughs> I didn't know you were in the audience. <laughs> Featuring new hand cam. Good. Why? Oh, you got a hand cam now? For yeah. everybody for it's everybody legit. for everybody listening, Nerlis joined and he flipped me off. <laughs> <Bitch. laughs> cool Yeah, uh, for it. people that have watched my channel, you know I wore these in my channel intro. That's good. That's cool. It's super comfy. Nice. Ew, is that a Logitech mouse? I have the exact same one. It is. It's cheap and <laughs> oh, it's Oh, that's a shitty one. I, I mean, need it, I, It's got side buttons. I should I should set up my fucking hand cam. Hold on, I have it here. Hold on, wait a yeah, second. Yeah, now I can play Elestrals. The, ignore the fact this is a Yu-Gi-Oh deck box. I, I have Elestrals cards in here, trust. Hey, Nerolos, did you hear about the new archetype? Uh, which one? There's been like seven new ones announced. Yeah. Brazil. 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 Rizel. The Rizels that have now just the rank four turbos that have the top OCG now. Oh, the guys that like the over 100 numbers are support for. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of them. Uh, what about them? Evan's excited. Ooh, light on the Because they can run, because they can run uh, trap tricks for Aflasia. I I Ooh. hate it. I, I hate I hate my current existence. Please kill me. Valid. But yeah, I, I would have my keyboard on here as well, but my desk is like L shaped and my keyboard is over here and my mouse is over here. So it's just like Yeah, you, you only ever see the one hand just moving the mouse around. Yeah. Now, now all you need is a playmat and some uh some physical cards and you can fucking start doing TCG content. <laughs> what nah. a coincidence uh, you bring that up. I'm far too poor for TCG content. I'm far too poor for to do TCG content. I'm sorry. Valid. Uh, Digi, you had something to say? There it is! Oh, the hand cam! Let's fucking go. Yeah. Though, it's not an actual hand cam. It's like the one built into my Mac that I'm just kind of positioning with the rest of the screen. Valid. So I'm gonna have to do it like this. Is it? Is it? Is this look good? Y'all have great good cards. Uh, they're like a little cut off, but like I imagine you can just lift them up off. and show them. Yeah, just lean yeah, it that's down. What I was planning on doing. Yeah, like right there is like perfect. And yes, I got my trademark fingerless gloves. With Lovely. Yo, with fingerless my... glove gang. And also, my little mascot as well. Cute. Mm-hmm. Like this mascots. right here is Marlo. Yeah, my mouse funny. that can yeah. transform into many different weapons. However, he can't do it now, of course, because he's a little shy, but... Yeah. Seems legit. Seems legit. <laughs> I was gonna play solitaire, but I, but I got a bad roll. Dang. And when I say solitaire, I'm not talking about against a Snake Eyes player and you brought your fucking 2014 era pet deck. Like, I'm, talking <laughs> about actual, I'm talking about actual solitaire. Actual bona fide solitaire. Yeah, I'm oh, trying to get... Man. One of these days that, on the weekends, I need to get a spades game going with some friends again. <laughs> but I continue. Cont your, your segment, Digi. Be my guest. My turn? Yes. Alright, alright. So, as you can see, we got ourselves another pack of Infinite Forbidden. 
So let's go ahead and get the highlights engraver, going. Engraver, engraver, engraver. Let's see. Let's see. He's pulling his so cock out. The first highlight of the first pack is Fiendsmith's Desiree. Desiree. Okay, that's still a solid card. Not money wise, yes. but it is pretty strong. Yep. All right. It has an attack power of 2,800 and defense power of 2,400. Pretty decent card, if I do say so myself. And You're on to the up. pile with you. Real quick, but bef before I go on to the other parts, look how Jeepers. thick... Look at Look how thick this is. From is just Infinite Forbidden money. alone. And if, okay. if if I was a gambling man, I'd say put like all your cards together, see what see what's thicker. Like my oh, fucking yeah. extra cards left over from Elestrals, or all and, of your cards and combined. This, and this right here is from Legacy of Destruction, of course. Jesus. And that's not all. That's not all. Okay. This is the Crimson King deck, and <laughs> rubber banded together. Right Classic. Here, this right here is the legendary decks of Kaiba, Yugi, and Joey all in one, because fuck it, I like keeping them organized. Fuck it, we okay, let me go it. ahead and let me go ahead and start putting these back and move on to the next thing. But like, I do have two more I wanna I wanna show a little later. This one's the retro, of course. The, the, the retro packs. And then my really, built. really, 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 really old deck from an eternity and a half ago. The one where I was in my prime with the machines. Anyways. Moving on. Two. Let's see. Where is the highlight of this one? Aha. Here it is. Uh, it is Lord of the Missing Barrows. Hmm. Isn't it, that the, on. um, eh. isn't that the, uh, um, that new flip archetype? That's Pelamid? That's Mim uh, Mimigul. Mimigul. I was thinking Gimigul from the Pokemon. I was also thinking Gimigul when it first got announced. And I'm just like, wait a minute, <laughs> that's all right. Okay. Go onto the pile. Come on. Come All right, on. we got two more packs. Prage yeah, for the engraver. Packs. All right, Prage let's for see. the engraver. Let's see. Let's see. Hundred dollar card, Tech W. All right, we got ourselves a spell card by the name of Beware the, the White Forest. Forest. His archetype's Easy. cool as hell. I love it. Oh, hold on. I gotta position it right. I mean, I don't think that one in particular is too, too much money, but White Forest in general is a super cool archetype, in my opinion. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Oh, I'm already getting dupes. I see another Fiendsmith sequence. Okay. And now on to the last one, and definitely not the least one. Copium, okay. copium, and... copium, 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 copium. Copium, 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 copium. Okay, let's see. We're praying big money here. All right, and the highlight of this one is Mimigul Archfiend. Oh, there's the Mimigul. Archfiend is the one is mm -hmm. uh, is a critical card yeah, for Archfiend the Archfiend. Is the good one. I'm pretty sure. It is the good one. Mm -hmm. Like it's that one and Master. I'm pretty sure that are the good ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And as you can see now, my infinite forbidden deck has grown that much bigger. Nice. There's just infinite All forbidden, I... like, cardboard. Yes. We only have, like, one more box of infinite forbidden at the store. And then we got, like, three boxes of a new set known as Light of Destruction. Which, which should, feels kind of uh, like run. Legacy of Destruction, but like GX version because Jaden from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX was on the cover of it. Yeah, the, and... uh, the Light of Destruction was actually a Yu-Gi-Oh! GX set. It was the set that I'm pretty sure uh, Honest and the Lightsworns were introduced. So, yeah, it'll, it'll be like wow. a lot of those air uh, of cards. Uh, yeah, is, yeah, is yeah first real hand trick for the Winston. Uh, well, it's not a TCG. 
event, so there's no reason. It's, it's to... not a decent event, sadly. I know, but like, is it like is it worthy enough to showcase on this podcast? I, I don't see any reason Probably. not. Like, everything gets its chance in the spotlight. Absolutely. All right. Um... Would it be top contenders and... like Brandon Despia for me, or some bottom tier copium strat like a uh, Amari? Anything else? <laughs> Whatever Jabroni is going to be bringing. True, true, true. Probably the zombies. Valid. Yeah, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching this Winston Cup. But this oh, yeah, Nailless is a minus cheap event coming. Is that what? Check the oh, Yu-Gi-Oh chat. Check week. the Yu-Gi-Oh chat. Check the Yu-Gi-Oh chat. Yeah, I saw there's a Winston. Uh, Winston's. Uh, friggin it's Meta Sheep. Up. They uh, bullied me into making it Meta Sheep, not standard. Oh, it's the Meta Sheep one. Oh, bet. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. So. It's time to crease. Yeah, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for joining us for this uh, roundtable. Uh, if you want to go find Char, you can find him. On, you can find everybody's channels down below in the description um, on YouTube. And uh, thank you so very much for listening. We appreciate you, your time, and your listenership. And we will see you guys next time. Think for yourself. I yeah. special summon these nuts. Fuck off. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ass but if you have the scratch to, to spare please consider donating and becoming a support at hivmedia.gg slash tip all of our perks are serviced through our discord channel including early access videos exclusive videos and more your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a food to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.